Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I truly appreciate you joining me. Today is part three of my craft room tour 2023. So today we are taking a look at what is behind those two doors. So here we go. Jack put up these decals several years ago and this is what you see as a backdrop when I'm recording my videos. All right, let me open this one side here. And let's take a look at the top shelf. So I have two of these 31 bags. One has mesh and one has tool. And then at the very top, there's another little bin with um, ribbon. This little uh, Dollar Tree container has twine. And then I have these three containers, which I got from Hobby Lobby, and they are filled with ribbon and they are sorted by season and some are sorted by color so that is the top shelf of this side on this side of the closet another container from Hobby Lobby with more ribbon and then these containers I got from Sam's Club and they have all my yarn and I have them sorted by color so like up there is all the greens uh, that container right there uh, beneath it is red, white, and blues, and then yellows and reds, and uh, earth tones and stuff like that. And then in this one is yellow and oranges and stuff like that. Coming down, I have this wire shelf. And on the shelf, I have a couple of Zyrons with a refill. None of it is compatible. Uh, so the refill goes to another Zyron. So the Zyrons I found at the thrift store for like next to nothing. So I was excited to try to get those going, but the refill is for a different model. So I'm not sure what I'm going to be doing with those. Next to it, that black uh, case has my Cricut Joy and all the accessories. Next to that, that colorful flowery one is a makeup case that my sister gave me and my Gemini Go fits in there. And it, I really, I don't really use that one, so I keep it there. Coming down, I have some cards. Um, so in this red, white, and blue uh, box, I have uh, cards that my sister has given me, you know, store-bought cards, you know, for a quick uh, send out and stuff like that. In here are some uh, card bases from Hobby Lobby. These are all my, next to it is another box, and this is all Christmas cards that I made this past year ready to go. These are all envelopes of various sizes, just to include in journals. And then right here is a box of cards that I found at the thrift store. You might have seen me haul these cute little teddy bear ones, and they're so cute. They're really, really cute. That's what comes in there. And then right here, I have boxes of already made cards, um, card bases, I should say. These are the foiled ones. Um, those are the ones you get in the pack, and I have two of those. And then I have one of these that I got from Hobby Lobby on clearance. So they're just stacked right here. And then some more um card bases with envelopes that I got from Michael's oh, a while back. So I have several of those. I'm trying to get in here. And then these are some um, let's see, let me pull this one out because it's really pretty. It's some um, cards and envelopes from Tuesday morning. If you can, I'll pull this out so you guys can see. So there are cards and envelopes. They are so pretty. So I really liked those. And then the next uh, cards and envelopes came from the thrift store, and they have a vintage look to them. Oh, I'm not going to be able to put that back. Let's see. There we go. Um, that's this box here. And then these are cards that you run through the printer to make invitations. So. I have those there and I've created cards with them. And then more of these cards from Michaels. So that's what's on that shelf. Uh, coming down, trying to, I have this, it's little and it has, it's one of those uh, expandable files. 
has all my scraps in it, my little scraps. Let me see if I can get up here and show you. So that's how I sort all my little scraps. So when I'm working on a project or die cutting something, I check this first. Then if I can't find something uh, the size I need, then I go to this. And this is an expandable file also, but it's like a stadium one. So I have things sorted in here. I have metallics, glitters, um, pattern paper, and then in the back is holiday. So I will normally pull this out onto my craft table when I am uh, looking for scrap, a scrap I can use instead of pulling out a brand new sheet. Right there is a brand new item. Uh, Jack just got that uh, little toolbox kind of thing. It's a craft uh, box that I got from Sam's Club. I'm going to pull that out and show you what I have in it in just a bit. And then next shelf down has um, all my uh, plates for my various um, die cutting machines, embossing machines. I have the uh, Boutique, which is just an embossing uh, machine. That one's really cute. Behind it is uh, a Spellbinders die cutting machine, a smaller one. And then here is my um, little sidekick. And then normally um, I have my uh, Sizzix fold away right here, but it's on my craft table right now. And then right here is my cord for my um, label machine. So that's what that is there. The bottom shelf, I have to move my step stool out of the way. Um, I do need to use that <laughs> when I need to get into... Uh, my ribbons and yarn. All right, in here is my cinch machine, and those are all the wires that go to it, or the rings. And then in the back are some more items if I want to uh, bind a book without the cinch machine. So that's what's there. So I'm going to go ahead and pull out that toolbox and show you what I have in there. So here's the craft box that Jack got me at Sam's Club. I think it was around $15, $16. So right on top you can, uh, you have a little, few little compartments here. Um, these are the finger protectors when you're um, using your hot glue gun. Here is an extra um, adhesive eraser, some actual uh, erasers, a sharpener, a pencil sharpener. So that's what is in that one. So that fits nicely in there. On this side, I have a tiny stapler with staples and some little pins. So if my glue gets kind of stuck, I just reach for that if I need a pin for whatever reason. All right, let's take a look in here. Here is just extra things that I don't use on a regular basis, but I don't want to get rid of, like some uh, scissors with um, decorative edges, another pair of scissors, uh, some palette knives. This I use when I'm doing hot glue because it's a, it's actually a mask applique or something applicator um, that I got from Dollar Tree, and it's silicone. So, you know, um, it's not going to hurt anything if it gets hot. These are just some uh, cute little knives that are M&M &M, uh, that Jack got me from the M&M &M world. Uh, this is a Dremel tool for actually nails, but I use it for some things sometimes. Uh, let's see. I thought I had... I might have a pair of tweezers in here, too. Here's a, a wire. Sometimes I use that, and I can't remember for what now. Okay, so that comes out, and that pulls up like that. And then in here, I have, like, this has my fuse tool in it. This is my favorite glue gun. It's the, um, I'm going to forget the name of it here. Uh, let's see. Well, you guys can be able to see that. That's my uh, cordless glue gun, and then here's the base to it. I also have my little tiny blow dryer. 
I also have an, an, a couple more glue guns. Some I got from a Dollar Tree for, you know, the dollar. Dollar twenty-five maybe. Um, this is a Cricut Accessories. And then right here is a um, heat gun. Found it at the thrift store brand new. Um, I usually use my little blow dryer when I'm doing stuff like that. I haven't used that uh, heat tool, but it's in there. This is this is an X-Acto knife in this box. Uh, let's see. I have an extra set of clamps. And I have this tool that was sent to me, and I've never used it. So it's in there if I uh, need to use it at one point. So it's nice and safe there. So that's what's in this box. I really, really like it. I like that all those things are together in one spot. I got the craft box put back in place and there is my uh, Sizzix fold away and it just sits in there. So when I'm die cutting, I can just grab that. Uh, hanging from the wire rack, I have these beads and I have a dear friend that lived in Hawaii and she gave me those and I just love them. They're beautiful. Um, I don't have them displayed out anywhere, but, uh, you know, I just wanted to save them. And then these red, white, and blue garland, beaded garland, I got from Hobby Lobby uh, at the end of the season last year. I just love them, and I am going to put those up in my craft room somewhere. I'm not sure. So they're just there. Now for this side of the closet. All right. I have a lot of stickers. Yes, I do. They are sorted into categories, and I know where everything is, and I love those containers. Those are from Dollar Tree. They're sturdy, and they hold a lot. And on the side, you'll see some pouches that I did get from Dollar Tree. These have diamond wrap. All these are diamond wrap, sorted into different, like fall or whatever. Um, and then this one here is all rub-on transfers. So there's the top shelf, here's the second shelf, here's the third shelf, and again, they are all sorted. Those four containers here were sent to me by my sweet friend Michelle, and she sorted all the letters for me, and they're also sorted into color. There's white, red, black, and blue. So I love those. All right. This is the bottom shelf. This has all my dies. And you see that I have them labeled. That one on the end is all Tim Holtz. And the white one is all shapes. And then these are the ones that are the bigger ones. These are, and these are my extended plates for my uh, die cutting machine. But these are those bigs dies. I found all of these at the thrift store. Um, and all of these at the thrift store. So, you know, I keep an eye out for stuff like that. These are uh, dies that I just hauled, but I need to put those in the binder. Uh, but I found like all of these, and these are the Sizzix, what are they called? These Sizzix Original. They're really cool. Uh, you don't need plates really with this. You just need uh, one plate or I'm not sure which plate, but yeah, you run that through just like that, and you get these shapes. So I have several of those. I have like uh, maybe six or seven of those, and then I found all of these. These are all these extended dies, and they make bags, purses, stuff like that. So those are really fun. Then I have these magnetic uh, bowls, or I don't know what you call them. And I have, as you can see, I have some dies in here. And I um, actually wanted to die cut some of these little uh, gingerbread men, but I never did. And then here's the smaller one. And oops, see how that stuck to that? Let me put that there. And then I have that there. And those are, those come in so handy when I'm die cutting because I can easily lose pieces. So when I'm die cutting, uh, I put them in here to make sure I know where they're at. All right, here's the bottom shelf. Did I say that was the bottom shelf? That wasn't the bottom shelf. This is the bottom shelf. 
I just recently purchased this container. I'm going to grab this little basket. I just recently purchased this container from Hobby Lobby. It has divided sections. There's four of them. And this is all my embossing folders. And they are sorted into different categories. So I love, love, love that container. Really cool. The basket houses um, those shaker um, dies and then some embossing and cut and embossing folders. So I have those there because I really need to pull those out and see how those actually work. Uh, right in here are some small punches and right here is my envelope punch and my score. Um, what do you call this score um, thing? <laughs> I don't use it that often. That's why I don't know what it is. Um, and then up here, I have a punch that I found at the thrift store. thought that was kind of cool. I need to pull that out, too, and figure out how to make those doilies, I guess, is what you make. A Martha Stewart. So that'll be fun. Then here is my spirograph with paper and instructions. Here's the spirograph. Kind of cool, huh? I want to make some cards from those. And then this is a punch that Jack got me. And you set it up and you can punch out letters. And there's the little, uh, let's see if I can open that. Let's turn it around and maybe uh, you can see an, a name. I think it's by Memory Keepers as well. And then you just set this lid, will stay open. You just, oh, here's the paperwork to it. Let me get that, and you guys can see what I am talking about. Uh, there we go. Let's see. Uh, there we go. Punch board. So that's what that is, and that's kind of cool. So that that's all there. So that sits right there. And then my spiral graph, which I did find at the thrift store as well, the spiral graph. Most of these punches from the thrift store. Um, the scoring tool. Ah, scoring tool. Um, I think Jack ordered that, and he ordered me the, the envelope punch. And then I found this at the thrift store. So, yeah, a lot of things I, I uh, hunt for at the thrift store. All right, just a few more things right here. Just against the wall is some mats. And then here's my little container I just bought from Dollar Tree, that uh, fold-up one. I have some craft paper here, a roll of that uh, for packaging. And then if we go up, I have some of those wall stickers. And Jack put a hook there so I can just hang all those wall stickers. You know, the ones you can get from Dollar Tree, those larger wall decor stickers okay let's come back down underneath the shelf I have that container it's full of rock art that I've done and then there's some photo albums down in there right in here between the shelves I have Jack's anniversary gift Shh. I have a large canvas that I'm going to be using and working and some more large canvases right there and then my step stool is oh right here and that just sits right there so that is what i have in my closet all right that was part three of my craft room tour 2023 i hope you come back next monday for the fourth and final video of my craft room tour 2023. Thanks for hanging out with me for just a bit. I truly appreciate it. Be safe, be happy, be positive, and until next time, you guys rock.